ain't a good time, Dawn. Hell's going on? I'll tell you later. Might as well tell him now. Everyone else in the tri knows. Tell me what? Gina got canceled. Oh, jeez. It's serious, Dawn. She lost her livelihood. They fired you. The salon put me on a leave of absence pending an internal review. How'd you do? She didn't do nothing, Dawnie. I'm a hair shamer. You ain't no hair shamer. You're my wife. Thanks, Greggy. There ain't no one out there with a kinder, more loving soul than Gina got. Yeah? There ain't Dawn. What the hell happened? I'm standing here minding my own business, talking to Brandy. When all of a sudden, this lady comes in the door, looking like a Fisher Price person, with solid, flat, yellow hair. Only fat. Can't say that. I didn't, Donnie. Shame on you, Dawn. She'd never say something like that out loud. <sighs> all right. But I didn't want to go near that, so I says to Brandy, I ain't going near that. And I could see her at the door hearing me. The next thing I know, they give her to me. And I smiled real nice. I was nice. And I said, honey, don't worry. When I'm done with you, you won't recognize yourself no more. Can't say that. What's so bad about that? Gina was just saying she'd make her pretty. Can't say that. She can't make her pretty. Uh-uh. Why is she getting her hair cut then, Dawn? She said it made her feel less than. Yep. And when she said it, her voice got all high, like she was running away with herself. I wanted to smack her. She's lucky I didn't. Well, you did tell her she should be someone different. She should. Can't say that. School's putting out a statement saying Gina's comments ain't mine and that I respect all haircuts. Crying out loud. What the hell, Gina? Oh, don't tell me you're in the whole woke brigade not to. That was my stepmom. How the hell was I supposed to know that? You met a bunch of times. I meet a lot of people, Missy. I'm a stylist. Oh, my God. Was. I was a stylist. No, I am is canceled. Missy, you think you can talk to your stepmom and get Gina her job back? I don't know. She's real vindictive. She's pretty litigious, too, ain't she? Real litigious. This conversation ain't helping. No, it ain't. Maybe if you said you're sorry. That's a good idea. I'll go over there with a loaf of lasagna and smooth it over. No. You gotta take a video and post it. How's come? So everyone else can know. Why they gotta know? Cause they're mad. It ain't their business. It is now. Oh, I ain't posting no apology like I'm Christy Tiger. She'll be national news, missy. Might be anyhow. You can't say nothing no more. In fact, I got in trouble the other day. Don't say it. All I said was... Don't say it, Donnie. It was a classic joke. Probably best if you don't say it, Don. All right. I guess the next time I call Donnie a knucklehead, we'll have to enter witness relocation. Actually, Gina... You've been mean to me for years. Bull crap. I don't buy this. Let him talk. It's true, Gina. How's come my head makes you think of Knuckles? You think I was born yesterday, Donnie? It's a fair question, hon. You know what, Gina? I think I'm all right as I am. You're you not, are. Donnie. I'm serious. What's that people say about themselves? I'm, I'm beautiful. That's right. I'm beautiful. And perfect. No, you, you ain't. Are not perfect. I get you. No. no. I got you for a second there. Kind of. For a second. second. I got you. Hello, this is Gina Mondonsky. Some of you may have heard about a recent incident involving me recently. I just want to offer my deepest and most sincere apologies everyone out there who has to look at your Fisher Price helmet hair, you can kiss my entire oh, ass. Hey, hon, 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 let's just try that again. You can't wear that, I'm wearing that. It's different.